Daniel Ricciardo's alleged final Formula One race became a focal point of controversy. The Australian driver, known for his infectious smile and daring overtakes, left an indelible mark on the sport by securing the fastest lap on the final circuit. This seemingly innocuous achievement, however, sparked a heated debate within the paddock. RB's decision to outfit Ricardo with soft tyres in the closing stages enabled him to snatch the fastest lap point from Lando Norris. This strategic move, while beneficial for Red Bull, left McLaren seething. The fastest lap point, crucial in Norris's championship battle, was now out of reach. Ricardo, revelling in his final moments as an F1 driver, reflected on the situation with his characteristic humour. If Max wins the world championship by one point ahead, I'll definitely get a nice Christmas present from him, he quipped. Yet the irony wasn't lost on anyone. Ricardo's fastest lap, while personally satisfying, earned him no points as he finished outside the top ten. McLaren's reaction was far from amicable. Team boss Zach Brown voiced his frustration, questioning the legality of such cooperation between teams. I actually thought that according to the regulations, one team is not allowed to work with another, Brown stated, his words tinged with barely concealed anger. Andrea Stella, McLaren's team principal, echoed these sentiments, emphasising the need for team autonomy. We need to put the sport in a position in which the teams are completely autonomous, both on the track and in the factory, Stella asserted, adding, after all, it's a team championship and not a coalition championship. The controversy deepened as accusations of intentional aid flew. While Stella stopped short of directly accusing RB of deliberately assisting Red Bull, he didn't mince words about the peculiarity of the situation. I just thought the whole thing was a bit strange, he remarked, his tone suggesting more than mere curiosity. RB's managing director, Peter Beyer, attempted to diffuse the situation with a light-hearted comparison to the driver of the day election. His comment, however, did little to quell the rising tensions within the paddock. Max Verstappen, the beneficiary of this controversial move, expressed gratitude for the assistance in his title fight. His words, while appreciative, only served to fan the flames of the debate surrounding team alliances and fair play in Formula One. As the dust settled on Ricardo's final race, the Australian driver hinted at a possible farewell, his words tinged with a mix of reflection and resignation. I always said that I didn't come back just to ride, he mused, leaving fans and critics alike to ponder the future of this beloved driver and the sport he's leaving behind. Amidst the controversy, Lando Norris, the driver most directly affected by the fastest lap snatch, displayed remarkable sportsmanship. Well done, Daniel. Nothing I can do so good on him, Norris stated, his words a stark contrast to the heated reactions from his team's management. Norris's measured response highlighted the complex dynamics at play in Formula One. That's just life, he remarked, acknowledging the long-standing traditions and strategies that have defined the sport for generations. His acceptance of the situation, despite its potential impact on his championship standing, offered a moment of clarity in an otherwise turbulent aftermath. As the Singapore Grand Prix faded into memory, it left behind questions about team alliances, strategic gameplay and the very nature of competition in Formula One. The incident served as a stark reminder of the fine line between collaboration and controversy in the high-stakes world of motorsport.